Welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna to find out if this master manufacturing sprayer that I got on Amazon is the best sprayer for the money. Um, I need this sprayer for my yard. We moved, my yard is garbage. It's all clover and dandelions and I wanna make it look nice. I bought a broadcast or a drop spreader um, and it just, the chemicals to kill the weeds just aren't sticking and aren't really working. So I decided to get a sprayer because then I know it will spray and kill what I needed to kill. Um, so I did a bunch of looking around. I didn't want to spend a lot of money whatsoever. Um, and I have the ability to hopefully mount this ATV spreader to my um, yard trailer or possibly since I have some equipment, I can make a, a little mount to mount it to the pipe or the hitch pipe mount section on the back of my uh, zero turn. So, you know, stick around and we'll take a look at this thing and then um, I'll probably do another video of the assembly since everybody's probably not gonna wanna see that. This video just have the sprayer, some details, then we'll skip to the end of the assembled to the assembled part. But to start off with, you know, I did a little printout here, you know, looking at some of the sprayers you could buy. Uh, our local stores are Home Depot and we have Lowe's and we have a Menards. Um, I actually got this on Amazon because I really couldn't find anything comparable for the price range. And my price range was pretty low because we are moving and I have a ton of little things to do to the house, so I didn't want to spend a ton of money. You could get a great spreader for in the $300 range, but I wanted to spend as little as possible, but not so little that I got junk. So let's uh, we'll get into this and see what's in the box and see what it looks like, see if the instructions suck. Um, We'll see how it goes. Okay, let's crack open this box and see what's in here. Nice, nice <clears throat> container there. Got the instruction manual. Let's see if that's uh, pretty nice. Let's see. There's a nice separate card, heavy paper for the boom piece. Your standard, do not return to the store, please. We want to be your friend. Contact our customer support. This is the mount assembly for the ATV. So it looks like they just throw those extra cards in there for the, uh, and add it, like all the additional things you get in the kit. Doesn't look like there's any crazy uh, English. Yep. Pretty, pretty clean. That's pretty, that's nice. It's always great when you get an instruction man you can actually make sense of. All right, what do we got in the box? Let's take this out. This is clearly the boom. We'll get this unwrapped in a second. <clears throat> Let's see, a couple mounts. This is part of the ATV mount, which I probably might be able to use that. A couple of ratchet straps. Here's a... Uh, the regulator and the gauge looks like another one of the ATV mounts. Yeah, I might be able to use these to like lock it to something on my trailer. A little bag of hardware. This lid. This is the wand. Take a look at the we'll take a look at all this stuff separately and see if they're decent and the ones you know if they're good quality Here's another box that, that sounds like metal that might be the mount for the actual tank then we have the tank and the pump on my chart i wasn't sure how many much pressure this makes because it's really not listed online but it's 70 psi and it does 2.2 gallons per minute um, looks like it pulls a max of 8 amps. That's like a nice little pump, pretty decent. Fuse holder. This is nice. I've seen so a couple other people's videos they had on some of the cheaper tanks were saying that those bolts right there are actually through bolted into this tank and then have like a rubber washer or something to seal it. It's nice to see that they're actually set into the tank and like that's a, you know, the plastic is molded all the way around that head so that there's no way for it to leak past it. There's a couple pieces of plastic floating around in there. 
Um, just got to clean that out. I like the sprayer mount section. And it does have graduations on the side for the gallon. What I'll do is, you know, I'll just take these and I'll highlight them with the with black magic marker so they stand out. Make it a little bit easier to read when you're doing stuff. So we'll open up these packages and see what's in all of them. All right, here's everything that's in all the bags. Okay, so again, we have the ratchet straps and mounts for the ATV kit. This is the pressure regulator. Um, it's not a terrible gauge. It's a plastic housing gauge, you know. It's, it's kind of what you expect. It's not going to be, you know, mega high quality, you know, video gauge or something. But, you know, whenever you tighten these down, I've seen a few people, they're just crank it in like this. Just tighten it down. Yeah, you don't tighten it by this housing even if it was metal you use you know the, the the fitting you know to tighten it down you will bend and mess those gauges up um here's the regulator um it's got some looks like quick attach fittings kind of similar to those fuel line fittings where you pop this off and can pull this off uh, there's a drain cap there's the cap and the tether little wiring harness it's got that you know pin style plug which is nice <laughs> This switch makes me laugh, though, because my grandma had a lamp that had a switch just like this on it that she has probably had probably for ages and ages, but it was just, like, almost identical switch. That's funny. I don't know how clearly this is not going to be super waterproof. Um, there's no rubber diaphragm on it. You know, the ends are, aren't, you know, rubber gasket or anything, you know. But, you know, just try not to soak it down. Um, this is the, the spray boom. Um, it's got the hoses. It's pretty decent. Um, it, it did. It, it was kind of kinked, but it came right out. You know, in shipping, where they had this folded over, so it's not, you know, a lined hose where it's going to be unkinkable. However, this hose is, is. I think it's the same hose. It looks like it. Um, it is. You know, it is has like the uh, belted. It's belted hose, but it's you probably can kink this too. Yeah, see, you can kink it. So you just you know you're not going to be using it some crazy way where you'd have to really worry about that as much um let's see oh there's the nozzles here's the nozzles it came with for the sprayer you know you got the nozzles some screens the actual nozzle pieces and then the rubber gaskets for the nozzles um as for the spray wand it seems pretty nice and i don't know how you know it's it's, it's got a nice crib fitting on here i don't know how these are normally you know made i had like a cheap pump sprayer and it's not this nice at all it's got a pretty decent heavy metal handle um it appears to have a lock i don't know you might lock it on if you so you don't have to squeeze this as much if you're spraying something you know a large quantity nice heavy spraying in the end there is focus that is a brass tip in there which is nice and then that's you know for the valve and what's nice is it's it fits and this piece right here in your nozzle or in your uh, wand so that if you know something happens and this gets damaged you know you're not out this whole wand you can just replace just this piece that goes in there which is the ceiling you know which is what seals against the brass um then it's got like a decently thick metal wand that's flanged um on the you know on the end it's got some nice little threaded end and it's got this fitting on the end which is the kind where you can you know, tighten it and loosen it for the uh, stream or spray. It's got like, a, this is kind of nice. It's got a little rubber seal in there so it won't piss back all over you. And then, you know, the rubber garden hose style washer in there. Um, all in all, it seems pretty nice. Um, the only thing is, you don't see here, um, I know on some of them there's a, like when you look at this, there's a bracket that comes off angle that lets you wrap the hose around it i don't see that on this there might be or because it's an atv spray sprayer they just expect you to like set it down on the rack but we'll figure that out um you know from here we're just going to go to the put it together one if you want to see how it's put together step by step because you bought one of these um i'm gonna make a video on that but here we'll just snap to it being done ready this is me telling you the reason you're looking at just a picture is because during the editing of the next video in the series, I'm modifying this to work with my trailer, I accidentally deleted the uh, conclusion part of this video. So here it is. The sprayer uh, is really nice. 
and uh, you can see more um, in the next videos. So just uh, keep watching the channel for what we do with this and how it uh, works on the yard trailer I have.